America runs on energy drinks. If you haven't had one, run the other way. If you have, welcome. I love energy drinks. They're actually everywhere and they come in some of the coolest flavors, but also some flavors that even concern me, like blood energy potion that looks and feels like real blood. Why do we need this? Deep throw energy, anyone? Only $3 a can. How about some pimp juice? No juice will turn you into an actual pimp. Pussy natural energy? I mean, yeah, who isn't energized by that? And lastly, cocaine, which is apparently 350% stronger than Red Bull. So I bought it, I'm gonna be taste testing it in this video. So clearly there's a market for some pretty crazy things and based off Steven Seagal's energy drink on eBay, up for bid for $1,500, people are also willing to pay for it. So I was thinking, what if I make my own heart stopping recipe by mixing all energy drinks together and then serving it to my friends at the gym? This is the jug we're gonna be making our recipe in and I have four questions that I'm wondering right now. One, how many flavors will we be able to fit in this jug? Two, how much will this thing cost me? Hopefully not too much. Three, what color will the end product actually be? I'm thinking it might be black. And four, will it taste like an existing energy drink already on the market? Probably. The goal of this grocery haul is to get at least 100 cans containing all the industry leading brands so my drink has a good chance of tasting better than anything else on the market. I'm gonna start with Monster, number one of the hearts of the undercaffeinated among us. And I'm pretty sure there's like more Monster flavors than I probably will have birthdays, which is concerning. Well, let's just get stocking up this cart. Without hesitation, I began to load up my cart with every caffeinated concoction in sight. With each can I grabbed, I could practically feel my heart rate accelerating. There were so many flavors of Monster I didn't even know existed. Like, what is Monster Rehab? Next up, Red Bull, the industry leader every single year. They actually dominate the market, which I was pretty surprised about because kids, I feel like they usually gravitate towards Monster. I feel like this is just like the dad's energy drink. Like no one drinks this anymore, but they're killing it still. Cart looks like I'm trying to wake someone up from a coma. Thank you. Tired this morning. Do you have a favorite energy drink? Red Bull. Red Bull? Of course. What's your favorite energy drink? Comment down below. After grabbing all the rock stars Walmart had to offer and Celsius, I'm pretty sure we cleared out Walmart. We have a pretty good list of energy drinks so far, but in order for us to find the more rare energy drinks in Canada, we have to start going to smaller stores. They don't have much, but they have exactly what we need. Ghost, which is a rare find here in Canada. I feel like a kid on Halloween just like stopping everything as fast as I can. I've got a Lani new, so even girls can have my drink. Bang, they have the most obnoxious marketing. I think my Instagram sells more bangs than the actual hub. And it doesn't even taste that great. Current spend, $231.44. We have 69 cans in the trunk. Probably enough cans back here to keep up with Charlie Sheen in his prime. But I wanna make it past 100. So we have to go somewhere where I really didn't wanna go. The gas station. Energy drinks here are probably more expensive than gas. They mark them up like crazy. It's like $5 a pop, which is just robbery, but I'm gonna do it all in the name of science. So let's proceed. Surprisingly, we had pretty much every single flavor in the gas station, and I was starting to doubt if we were ever gonna make it to 100 cans, but we were able to equip Mountain Dew Kickstarts, Rockstar, and of course, some more Monster. Shit. They also had something called Yerba Mate, brewed from the naturally caffeinated leaves of the Yerba Mate tree native to South America, which should give me a more natural feel and finish to my drink. 4.59 a can, bruh. Both stores didn't have anywhere near as many energy drinks as I anticipated, so I began to get flustered, which caused back-to-back -back double purchases. We're having a big sleepover tonight. <laughs> yeah. I got to the last store and I was certain about one thing. I'm about to drop a bag on energy drinks. There is no other option. I started clearing them out of everything. I actually just start reading my receipts, deciphering their cryptic codes to ensure I'm not accidentally doubling up. I have no idea how many cans I have at this point, but on the bright side, I found so many new brands. Who knew there were so many flavors, colors, and questionable combinations waiting to be discovered? Do you guys wanna see what $382.63 of energy drinks looks like? Well, here it is. Why do I feel like I also should have invested in a defibrillator? This is very intimidating, especially this. This thing is haunting me. We're gonna be trying that very, very soon. But I think the best strategy here is to kind of organize ourselves based off brand and then start filling this bad boy up. We began to organize everything because it was overwhelming. Monster pretty much had its own private island with everything else surrounding the perimeter. We have 104 cans. Let's get to work. 
This might be unnecessary, but I feel like with the amount of chemicals we have going on here, there could be some sort of reaction and I'll be prepared. Starting with Monster, another white beverage I love to guzzle down. This is a one gallon jug, which is 128 ounces. So 1.23 ounces per drink. It'll fill this up perfectly. Instantly when I started, I knew I was gonna take a while, but if I wanted to get this done in a reasonable amount of time, I had to pick things up. So I began to speed run three at a time. I'm gonna be hearing that in my sleep. We already have an interesting color forming here. I want you guys to comment below your Super Bowl Gatorade color bet and see if you're right by the end. 230 calories. If you're gonna have an energy drink, just make sure it's zero calories. This is just obnoxious. Monster Rehab taste test. Never had it, 25 cals. It's not carbonated, but it's actually very good. I go to rehab for this. Monsters are all in the jug. My ears are already ringing like I was just at a Metallica concert from all the tsh, tsh, tsh. I'm, I'm already buzzing right now. Moving on to the guru. When I hear guru, I, this is probably more fitness guru rather than you know holistic guru, because I don't think I'm gonna find inner peace with a heart rate over 150 beats per minute. And usually when I hear guru, I think of a scam, which goes, you know, with, which goes quite well with what I'm doing right now. It's organic. It looks a bit on the healthier side of the energy drinks, which doesn't really mean much. It mm, tastes healthy. That's not what I'm after with an energy drink. I want like overpoweringly sweet. I want human horsepower. I want human gasoline. I think we're forming a bit of like a brownish red color. Still kind of just looks like a regular old fruit punch jungle juice. Let's move on to the Rockstar. Tons of different Rockstar flavors. I was actually quite surprised. Where'd the can go? Where'd the can, it's a camel. I used to buy Rockstar all the time when I was a kid thinking that I would turn into one. I just still ended up at home alone playing Guitar Hero. It didn't work, but, and that's why they suck. Hopefully everything else masks that flavor. Wow, woo. That's even, oh, ugh. Moving on to the health category. We got the Yerba Mate and the Zevia. It's kind of like energy drinks with morals. They don't just give you panic attacks. They actually do something for you, I believe. As Andrew Huberman said, he says a lot of things though. Oh, that's horrible. It tastes like medicine and grass. <coughs> After taste testing Rockstar, Yerba Mate, and Zevia, I was actually getting pretty worried my special drink would be undrinkable, putting this whole entire experiment down the drain. It's poo poo caca water. X. Oh, it's a vegan. <laughs> my expectations are just down there. <sighs> do they even have animal products in, in energy drinks? Because if they do, that's what this is missing. It's not good. Ugh. All right, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the moment I've been dreading, cocaine. My nose is ready for it, my dopamine receptors, I'm not so sure. I thought that there was actually, you know what, I was like, damn, there's actually a dealer doing it on Amazon these days, which is pretty great. But then you read it, it says, warning, this message is for the people who are too stupid to recognize the obvious. This product does not contain the drug cocaine, duh. Flavor, spicy. What does that even mean? There's, like, there's literally no details. A couple of reviews said it tastes like fiberglass. What's mixed in this? Fentanyl? 280 milligrams of caffeine and apparently 350% stronger than Red Bull. If you just drink this recreationally and it's not for a dare or for a YouTube video, you're an actual psychopath. <laughs> oh, it's thick. What? It's like, it has a thickness to it. It actually feels dangerous going down my throat. There's something in here and you feel the burn in your throat. It, oh, my stomach is going a bit. I feel like you would have this, you know, if like you're going, you're going to war. It's very unique. Definitely better than I thought. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Even though in this clip I was smiling, my mouth felt like I gave the devil a rim job, but we must proceed. Moving on to Celsius. Celsius is actually the fastest growing energy drink company in the world right now. Like their growth has been insane. They actually just came to Canada because Canada, we get everything way later than 
everyone else and it kind of sucks, but we literally just got Chick-fil-A like literally a year ago. Now, I feel like there's probably a lot of scientists watching this video and I wanna know, is this equivalent to just having one energy drink or is this actually more dangerous? The different formulas clashing together, let me know in the comments. Rain Energy, one of my favorites. Ooh. Oh man, my heart's going. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh, that cocaine, man. <clears throat> okay, so next we have Red Bull. Let's just start with the original, very quick quick little taste test, 110 calories in just this little thing. Mm -hmm. It tastes like my dad. If you like drinking medicine, which I used to, this is a very good option. Man, that cocaine. Oh, cucumber lime, okay. You know me, I like cucumbers. And they're solid for them. Oh, that's terrible. What the f Oh! Tastes like I'm having a salad. I thought I was being responsible by only having sips of the drinks, but it really started to catch up to me or the cocaine really does work because my energy was starting to go through the roof. We're now moving on to sparkling. <laughs> We're now moving on to sparkling ice. I didn't even know they had energy drink versions of this, but this just throws me back to when I was a kid. My mom used to buy these for me all the time. Not the energy drink things, of course, she was a good mother, but like the other ones, the low calorie ones, because I was a chubby little lad. I was just so spoiled as a kid. I was just, you know, I was, I was raised as an only child, which really annoyed my sisters. Mm-hmm. Hi, mom. NOS, it's not good, it's sufficient. C4, three out of 10. Four out of 10, I love Blue Raz. Is Blue Raz a real fruit? Is it? Got the Lani New for my girls watching. The 20% of you in my demographic. What's this one? Of course it's peach. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a lady. Now we're on to Bang. Monster gives you energy, Red Bull gives you wings. Bang makes you realize that the models promoting it have never tried it. Every flavor is a bang, so few of them are a banger. That's terrible, man. Ugh. Damn, that smells good. I think we just invented a fruit that does not even exist. Oh my goodness. It's like my little potion. We have run through so many cans and we're down to our last brand, Prime Energy. It's not that great. Maybe this is me my chance at my own personal KSI diss track. And the last and final can. <sighs> Look at that reaction right there. Oh shit. Oh my God, stop. <sighs> my wife would have killed me. Introducing Satan's Spit, flavor virgin, because the drink is so potent, it'll probably taste like the first energy drink you've ever had. Now, to be clear, if you dumped this over a Super Bowl winning coach, he's either gonna turn into the Hulk or his championship ring will dissolve. All I know is it smells amazing and I'm excited to share it with all my friends. We're not gonna tell them the lengths that I went through to make it. We're just gonna say I tried really hard to make my own thing and see what their honest feedback is. We're starting off with Wayne. Wayne will put anything in his mouth without questioning. Anything. So, there you go, man. It's called Satan's Spit. You know what it tastes like? It what? tastes like when you mix every single monster together. Do I like it out of 10? No out of 10. Oh. But, you don't like it? But like, flavor-wise, I give it a nine. Whoa. Do you notice anything spicy in there? No. No? This is paprika. No. Cinnamon. Cocaine. I'm not even joking. Let's go. Yeah. I love drugs. Yeah. 
I like it. Out of 10. Like I real like it. Oh, a solid eight. Yeah. Damn. So would you say this is the best energy drink you ever had? No, I, I can't because I have to rate the energy part. Okay. But in terms of flavor, yeah. I mean, this tastes good. Let's call it Satan's spit. Tastes good. Yeah, yeah it's ten. not bad. Like a 10? A 10. 10. Holy shit. This is going like overwhelmingly well. Who else can we ask? We got some Satan's spit. Satan's spit, is that what you're calling? Yeah. Oh, that is metal. It's very citrusy. Yeah, I do like it. It is good. Out of 10? Nine. A nine? So if this was around, you'd buy it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You want some more? Sure. Yeah. Pop me off. This is holy water, man. It's a, it's a homemade energy drink. Okay, yeah, why not? He's going for more. <laughs> <laughs> why are you still the drink right now? There you go. Thank you. It tastes kind of like energy drink. Um, yeah, that's what it is. I would like to say 6.8. That's the lowest one yet. Lowest one? No oh. way. Oh, I feel like she's a harsh critic. All made, man. All natural. No chemicals, nothing. It's fresh from my garden. Can you guess the fruit? Cherry? Mm hmm. You, you pretty much can't get the answer wrong. It's every fruit. 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 Yeah. What would you give it out of 10? Eight point five. Eight point five. Yeah. Would you spend five dollars to buy it on a can? A can? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Is that currently inside? No. None. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna give you like my entire bank account if you can guess the flavor. Okay. Man. Hang on. Like a raspberry, a raspberry kind of mix. Not even close, buddy. Maybe next okay. time. Maybe next time. Yeah. It's still good though. Yeah. You guys want to try? Sure. Why yeah. not? This is a, it's a homemade energy drink. Yo, he's an athlete, bro. You're an athlete? He, he's an athlete, bro. What's your what's sport? playoff? Bro, ice hockey. Ice hockey? Hell yeah. This will help you with ice hockey. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's legal. <laughs> so I don't know if you might get like. I'll try it. Yeah, go for it, man. If you get kicked out of the league, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, it's very real. It tastes very fruity, like a very real fruit. Yeah, I would say, yeah, yeah. organic. Yeah, organic. Yeah, it's not like from Whole Foods. Like, like, no, oh, really? Whole Foods. It's, it's like, the complete like, opposite. Bro, like, 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 look at your packaging, bro. Like, yeah. So, what'd you give out of ten? Maybe like an eye. It's pretty up there. It's pretty good. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your workout, man. Enjoy playoffs. I'm giving this drink to so many people. I think I should have probably got some like liability waivers done by my lawyer, but overwhelmingly positive. Everyone at the gym was clearly loving it, but with this new business venture in mind, only one person's opinion matters. My wife's. You've probably been wondering what daddy's been up to all day. Boba? Hmm? Or... You. Oh. And is this right here, Satan's spit? Oh my God. And give me your honest opinion, Yay. okay? So what do you think your favorite energy drink is? Mm, I like Alani New. <laughs> of course, you're so basic. Shut the fuck up. I like Alani New, because I'm a girl. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Well, how does it smell? How does it smell before you drink it? It smells really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does it smell like? It smells like peaches. Peaches? From Georgia. Okay. Now do I taste it? Yeah. And hold it in your mouth before and you like swallow. And like squish it? Yeah, before you swallow. Because that's sexual. Huh? It's actually really good. Really? Yeah. Yes! It just tastes do sweet. Do you, you taste any spiciness in it? No. Really? None. What would you give it out of 10? 7.5. That's pretty good. Try some of this. No, I don't do cocaine. Do it for daddy. Okay, I'm gonna break the news to all you guys. Oh, this is it. It's actually all energy drinks combined into one drink. One in 1.25 ounces per drink in here. Like that doesn't make any sense. That is right? Because for me, there was, no, there was no real aftertaste. So I think what happens is you have the strengths of all drinks and the weaknesses of all drinks, and they kind of just like, like make this perfect thing. Yeah. yeah. Is it Captain America to drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. This is exactly what I thought it was. I was right. Chuck. Sure. I don't know. 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 Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite sour. It's like 
Oh my god, that's good. It doesn't taste chemically at all. It actually seems very cohesive. You're playing Fruit Ninja, slicing up all the fruit, all the juice at the bottom on the floor. You just kind of pick it up. That's what's in here. I'm gonna give this a solid. I would pay $5 for this. I think you guys would too. That's why it's going on Amazon. Satan spit, be on the lookout.